it, it may be a team that not a lot of people know, but for the most part, everybody on a very comfortable roll. Polly sticking on that Sova. Greedy on the controller there. Actually, often into playing the Astra. Trolls to get a whole bunch of information. The dash on through, trying to get the bait and switch, and they get it done. It's Mummy to go down first, though. As Victor looks for another, finds it through the wall. The hot hand's gonna slow things down for just a second. They turn to fight the flank, but it goes sideways. Rounds, they're getting less and less of a bonus and more and more of a buy-up from some of these teams. They're trying to have some extra strength coming into it as Crashies gets the backstab onto one. Polly's able to find one with the classic. The kill's going back and forth. But Carpe knocked him, looking to sneak one away. It's up to Marv, the new addition here in Envy with the spike going down, some utility to work with. Able to find one onto Jay Sung. Now it's all up to Zid, who does have a weapon in hand, but I believe it's a Spectre. Paranoia goes through. Marv looking to take the fight right to the jet. Playing out towards short. One dark cover to work with, but the gunplay gonna be what gets it done here for Marv and NV. The second round goes their way. That was way more dangerous than it should have ever been. The Phantom was fed on over towards... Tell you, we'll see if Carpe knocked him. Do their due diligence to clear these corners. Just about full HP on the Killjoy. Didn't repurchase in the armor. Zid gonna clear. They spot out one, and they trade it back and forth. But damage, again, the name of the game, some chip damage. Swings the way of Envy, so there's a couple of members that still need to be worried. The only problem is the remaining for Envy are, uh, are struggling in terms of the weaponry. Get Greedy picks up two, leaving it down to two. It's Crashies, who has since retrieved a Vandal. It's still the operator online, and I would imagine Mummy waiting to see if a couple of kills swing the way of his Sova before trying to retake. No Tailwind up here, so he's playing a dangerous game by committing to this fight and over swings it. And that's another sneaky position to try and get something done. Going up and down, readying himself for this fight for cop. Carpe knocking this could be a rough read. They're working this lurk towards A. If information is found in that direction, it could save this round and avoid them walking in towards this C stack. You see the alarm bot there. Victor playing contact. Left. Ready for this mid play with 30 seconds left. This really has to be the commitment. I mean, good for Carpe knocking though. They bought enough time. That Empress has fallen off. So Devourer is available. It is going to heal up. No line of sight. Maybe broken. It's get greedy. Hops on the board for two. Polly is there as well. And FNS who is holding the cheeky angle. Not able to find any value inside the garage. It's completely opened up as Polly closes it out and car. But I know once he comes online, he can be a beast. Crash he's able to find Polly with the Hunter Shuri and attack across the map for the information. Run it back to Jay Sung. Able to find one. Finds the next and still. Up and run as it finally goes back, taking some damage as the tag comes through. Greedy gonna get that spike planted, and it's a different spot. That's an interesting plant to try and stay safe. FNS though, looking to steal back around. It's all up to the Phoenix, who got it done moments ago, unable to close it out there. As it's the operator online for Mummy, it's Crashies with the swing here. Crashies just looking to play contact out towards a short shots, but to the leg. Unfortunately, not going to be enough for the kill. It's Victor on top and an op shot to go wide. Out through the cloud burst and with the Leer Victor, able to find another. Jason down, the duelist down as Mummy doesn't miss this time around. Now it's up to Greedy and Trules in a 2v5 with the spike in hand. That op just going right to work here. A flawless... A lot of people don't, so we'll see if that's going to be the call. Nova pulls. Jay Sung tries to play right through it. Lockdown comes through. FNS holding it down with crashes by his side. They tried to make a play towards A. It didn't work as that Leer goes through. Polly swinging just a bit too wide. No, able to find a kill. Taking minimal damage in doing so. A couple of shots. Rated back and forth as I believe that paranoia going to be queued up by Marv and the shots from heaven has been I've just been off the quicker hits so probably time for a change of Mame he's not allowing them to control the pace because he's down mid so is Victor so aggressive is Envy but spotted out by Zid shut down it's back to a 4v4 it, it looked like a couple of pistols maybe it was Spectres actually in the hands of the Carpe Nocta members but they do have a few rifles and they have managed to find one kill as they take the B-side FNS, trying to push on through, shots from Gong as it find another in the round, Marv, looking to find a backstab as once more that spike planted in an awkward spot, it's not up against that box, Crashies with a nice backstab from the flank, takes down Get Grease, so some of the post plant damaged a bit, knives are online, op shot goes wide and Mummy just struggling to find it here, so uncharacteristic of Mummy to be missing those shots and now Envy looking to pay the ultimate price for it. 
Two players to worry about in front and crash cheese. Do it again. Trolls across from him. Ooh, he unscopes. Timing good though. Spike down, no dash. But get greedy. Only able to trade out for one advantage. Sticking with Envy. They're like, oh, he's well, is it just a fake? Well, now they have no way of knowing. Because Seasight open for business. It's a retake on the cards for Envy. And hats off to Victor from finding a, a frag across the map as well. That sewers to a lobby fight. Sometimes a difficult one, but obviously for these guys, they're able to get it done. Like you said, Cosmic Divide used. Run it back, gonna be used as well, so investing a lot into this one. Our Carpe knocked him. Victor, gonna send Jaysung back into the ultimate. Lear comes through, Dark goes out, Jaysung finds the first off the back end of a swing. He finds the next, and Greedy closes it out. Carpe knocked him for the lead. Oh, FNS gets spotted out towards mid. Jaysung still able to find one as well. Marv was trying to make a play. Out towards garage. FNS is still alive somehow. FNS, what are you doing? The turret gets a double kill, making it four on the round for the killjoy. And it's all up to Zid. What a round, FNS. What? what? Uh, turret. Oh, not another kill. Turret finally. They finally traded out onto the turret. Two for one trade. Not what you want against that six man. And now it's Zid alone. 1v2 has to pull off this Red Bull clutch to get it done. And Crashies is routing him, but no information. Timing eludes them. Will Crashies check on this? Or is he going to bite thinking it's A? He's not looking just yet, but should oh. see Zid. Should shut it down. The accuracy by volume is the name of the game now as they storm up towards the seaside. Cloudburst on. Frenzy goes. Not going to be enough just yet. Trolls finds two. Not going to find the third. FNS hops on the board, Marv going to match. So a 3v3 situation as that spike goes down. Two players from Carpe Noctum working that flank. Good flank to be had here. Closer turret is up, so we'll reveal this. Now they know there's at least one man on the flank, but will they expect the second? Envy, good positioning on the post plan. And the Astra, frankly, up in the Astro world, waiting a minute to join her team. Hot hands gonna clear out the back of the site. Jay Sung on top, but Marv with the 3k on the round makes this one a whole lot juicier here for the NV squad. It's FNS to close it out. Their economy. Another C take coming through. Want me to dash on, find the first, and that Leer getting the blind on Greedy will allow the second one to swing the way of Mummy as well. It's a rifle and hand long. Oh my goodness, through the dark cover, Mummy gets it done again, and that's why you run the Phantom. Owl Drone gonna give all the information. The weapon swap, no ace, it's stolen away. First back given, I think they understand just how much. Ooh, run it back, use Jaysung, still able to find it. Will be sent back towards his body, and they're gonna try and push it out, curveball. Queued up, get greedy, playing towards the back of the side. Jaysung picks up three on the round. As Crashies is able to trade one back, Jaysung still alive. Nice grab well, gonna secure another kill for Carpe Noctum. And what is this game? FNS now looking to push on through a weapon retrieved by Get Brown. As Carpe Noctum trail by three. Jaysung working towards that run it back. Crashies gonna find the first kill onto Zid. Biting off more than they chew out towards the sewers area. The operator gonna find a kill as well. Mummy starting to come online starting to get in the groove with the operator as a tag comes through no hunter tree to follow but it forces poly off the site to use the hunter tree themselves get greedy gonna find the first pushing onto the side trolls we're gonna play outside the dark cover but victor's there up close and personal looking for some more trying to dance around the smoke two kills swing the way of the reina the last one waiting just on the other side of this connector. Shock Dart looking for some chip damage. The spray is there. The 3K is the case early in this one. It's Victor to fall again. The weapon unfortunately out of range, so not going to be picked up just yet as Crashies swaps over Aww. towards the site. 5 HP remains as the dink was just too far away. And the Marshal not going to best the operator this time around. Carpe knocked them down to their last three. Here. I wonder if they're able to retrieve that one weapon. It does look like it. We've got a flank coming from Zid, but it should be answered. We're very close to a 3v3 as the lockdown gets used on the side of Envy. One on the side of Carpe Noctum as well, should they choose to use it. But Trolls now taken off the board means the lockdown goes away and the round should be secured here. Zid, the last one standing, playing out towards Long, is able to dance away from the detain, but not find the kill. Just onto the rifles. I think that's better for Envy's playstyle because it's speed, which works well for them, and it's speeding right to wow. their death. Two for Zid, a double. The dash is blocked, but Polly, he's got his teammates back. 
I mean, all day. Hang on. I'm going to hang on to the side. I'll come back to it. Ness able to find one on to Greedy. That's a controller taken off the board. Two kills traded back. Courtesy of Finesse. Now looking to maybe clear things out out towards C. Instead, Crash is going to push up, find the kill onto the Operator. And Envy still in a position to close things out. Jason goes on the flank, and it's up to Finesse to find a Red Bull clutch here in a 1v2. 70 health makes it a bit harder to be able to see the foresight in this one. Jason and Polly still very healthy. Here in this, but maybe not expecting a backstab. Both of them are peeking over towards a lobby, Mimi. This is where it gets very dangerous. Very little HP on Finesse. Spike on the ground. You see that the Phoenix is tucked in close. And now Polly holding for this. Polly's got the angle. Polly's got the shots. And for Finesse, and just the suppressor showing was enough for Zid to find that kill onto Victor. That is, uh, again, just heads up play there. A kill that you... Stars are called towards A that... Makes me think the Carpe Noctum might be leaning more towards the retake, but it's a better position as Zid entries. Zid finds the first. It's another lockdown for Finesse here. It is going to be answered by the Hunter's Fury, so they buy out that ultimate. Alt for alt we go. The only one still available going to be the Cosmic Divide in the back pocket of Get Greedy's Victor. He's got so much space. Assumed the A site. Unexpected. Polly falls. The spike slowly headed that way. The 4v3 in favor, make it a 2v4. Now in favor of Envy as they cut it down to the last. It's up to Zid, who found the only kill here in this round. Needs to find four more as that spike goes down towards the A site. Maybe looking to, to find a weapon to play with because the operator is not the one you want in a situation like this. Slow walking towards this A site through B is also... Not a very favorable position. Looking to find the first shot. Goes wide. Splits the up. Not sure what they have in way of flashes. Maybe that paranoia is still available. Have to see what they can do. But Carpe Noctum actually fighting this. Zid getting aggressive and Jason getting one. And it's really the only play that you can make. If you don't want to be corralled on the site, you have to fight off of it, unfortunately. It's not going to be the case. They're stuck on it. Paranoia goes through. Curveball's there as well. Victor now pushing up on the site. Troll shot in the back, but the kill feed flooded with red as it's all down to Victor on the pocket pick Phoenix not able to do it as off the paranoia this could go horribly wrong for Carpe Noctum as the Molly comes out but Zid shuts down and no paranoia Marv still able to grab the value though as I run it back and it gets sent right back playing through the dark cover Jason able to get away for now but only on 100 HP toss out the hot hands and that spike in a tough spot Marv Gonna get some damage on target. Jason gonna swing once more. Now two members to worry about. It's the 4K for Marv. The rifle round for Envy, and they're looking to make it hurt. And it looks like Envy are okay to try and hand over the ace. And there it is, Marv on the board. You said paranoia, Mimi. Under control. I mean, they have nowhere to go here. It's a fight wherever they take it, and it's a fight against two here towards that. Victor and Marv to try and get it done again. Victor sprays down two. Not able to find the third, but Marv right around the corner, waiting in the wings. Only finds one, but it's two on the round, and it leaves it up to Zid. What's the Victor and Marv show? Crashy. Gonna make an appearance there. Nice little cameo in this round. Uh, you, this is kind of... Uh, you see a lot of it when it comes to bind, right? Where teams will fight for showers control and just never give up any control there. I mean, we're seeing it all over the map here on Ascent, and there's exactly what you're talking about. Mummy playing the close angle. Using that tailwind to get away. Recon bolt. Getting a tag. Leave on to Jaysung there, who's out towards that marketplace. Drone gonna be used. Jaysung still holding it down out towards the steps on the market, and the spike hasn't made its way onto the site, so there's still options. Well, Carpe knocked him. Marv trying to cut those options down as he will eventually fall. Let me on the site with the operator. Trying to get off of it there. Get Greedy finds a third onto the round with 6 HP. A 2v2 situation. Unfortunately, both members on the side of Carpe knocked him. Not looking great. They'll need to find some one taps, and it's a whole lot harder to do so. As you're up close and personal. It's seven health combined, Mimi. 30 seconds left. This is so hard. Oh, remaining. it's all over. Spike's Spike down at this down point. Victor to ensure this. Polly on 1 HP. I'd honestly like to see him save here. Maybe he can still get something done, but the shots need to be perfect, need to be crisp, and Victor's playing an off angle. It's so hard to contend with. Oh, and there's the cross. Just, just trying to do anything that he can. There's picked up in the blades in that area, so that should not have happened, but uh, Finesse finds a way to make it happen. 
Victor and Crashies. Dynamic duo going out. Able to find a couple of kills. Mid control seized as well. Forcing either a strict A take or a strict B take from Carpe Noctum as they find weapons in hand. What can they do up the back end? It's a 3v5. And again, this is their map pick. They're feeling comfortable here in the last matchup. Obviously, Envy a different team and definitely giving them a different look. Oh, Envy's giving them no space to work with. They have to lock down towards B, which denies a fast push there. And they push up through mid, take that space with the run it back, and Carpe knocked them down to three. Envy knows 100% that they have to be A main. So Mummy's holding for it, dash forward. He trusts his teammates, though, so he's ready to shut it down. Run it back, not going to get anything done. Maybe I speak too soon, because Jaysung picks up too. But he's alone, marved blinds, a flank's coming. This should all be over. Used here. The troll is trying to clear out the B site. The op shot's gonna go wide for just a second. Nova Pulse able to force two back, but I mean, it's still just free reign. Nobody stopping anything. Coming from that defender sided spawn as the door goes down. The run it back gets used. Victor now looking for a bit of value. Ninja Troll's gonna hop on the board, finding Juno, sending the ult back as Pauly picks one up with the ultimate. Victor the now the last one standing. Doesn't have much to work with here. Only a curveball and 100 HP. 30 rounds in the magazine is going to be vulnerable. Trying to push pull forward. Puts the B site. They just did a really great job in the basics of trade and get there. Just so well read from Mame. Ready for Zid. I believe that was an operator as well. So super yeah. punishing start here for Carpe Noctum. And that makes me think, right, if Mummy doesn't miss that first shot inside of B main, how does that round change, right? That probably completely stalls out the push from Carpe Noctum and Envy just run away with another round. So if those shots are on target, like we saw from both Mummy and now Crashies, Carpe Noctum, they've got nothing. They go back to their defaulted ways. They try and play it a bit slower here. And unfortunately, they don't have a lockdown to work with this Mummy. I, I mean, does he even have an operator in hand? He's pushing forward the tip of the spear, able to find another kill. Side of the Cosmic Divide takes down the door, backs away, and looks to play with the team. Jason able to use that blaze while the op shots continue to ring out from heaven. Nothing found just yet by Mummy. Looking for something on the floor is a beautiful curveball. Gonna push back the two defenders up towards heaven. Nothing found just yet. It's greedy. Stops one from pushing onto the site, but Marv trades the two kills back, looking for a third. It strolls out on top, looking for another, and it's Jay Sung to close it out. Carpe knocked him. Knocked him could be looking for five. What? They stick that? Okay, Marv still able to find one. Jay Sung goes down. Polly trades it back. No vulnerability, though. They take a, a little too long to pull the trigger on that push out towards A main, and it's a two for one going the way of Envy. Victor able to walk away from it unharmed now uses that blaze wall to stop another push and, and like you said it, it's once they get on the site that's where things are a-ok -okay for carpe noctum but getting there has been the difficulties shots through the wall both ways can find a bit of damage victor hot hands go through trying to clear out that wine area but pays for it with this life fortunately again the dynamic duo crashies is there mummy not going to spot anything out towards mid with the operator the spike will be picked up Depending on where Carpe knocked them end up, it should be a 2v1 basically anywhere. The scariest thing is if you try to cross back towards B, Mummy is there. Now looking to take his leave and, and head on over towards that A site. That was a well-timed rotation in this 3v2, but it'll be a 2v2 on the site. The Silva already wounded, but still, stand quiet. Crash is over. Back turned there as Crash just finds one. The upside goes wide. The reload. The classic, but the shots don't land. Mummy. Yeah, the thing that hurts the most right now, right, is if comfortably on the Astro, you can really only pick up two stars. Uh, and then you're going to grab yourself some light shields off the back end. It's Victor trying to trade back that kill. Unable to do so as Polly picks one up over on the opposite side of the map. It's Mummy to fall. So Carpe knocked him ahead here in the pistol. They've got themselves a two-player lead. They do. It's looking strong. Spike making this long rotation in towards B. And Carpe knocked him. Not entirely sure what to think. They know FNS can be pushed up in this position, but they don't want to overcommit to the fight. They don't want to overswing this. No, no, the timing. Trolls shut down. And the, they can still pull this off. Wow, yeah, I mean, they're very close to getting these trade kills. Hot hands going to be used here. FNS tries to swing it wide. Unable to spot anybody there. Crashies will fall. Double dink. From the frenzy, gonna be enough. And off the back end of the hot hands, Jason was able to heal up just a bit. I think from 22 to 33. 
in terms of health. Hot Hands narrowly missing out on the opposite side, though. Greedy forced to push on through it, and Polly on the flank leaves it all up to Victor. Forced to reload, finds two of four. Needs to find a couple more. Not gonna get tagged out there. Hot Hands gonna buy some time, and it's time that Carpe Noctum does not have. Victor doing so well. First hide if they're able to get him this ultimate. And it's just gonna be, you know, FNS here to answer to make it crash. He's on the back end as well. The first shot. Goes the way into the head of Jay Sung. Nice curveball coming out of Mark, and that door being open is causing problems. It's a free split onto the B site. The only two remaining are rotating over. The running gun from Greedy is good for one, not for the next as Mummy closes it out as the door closes. Aggressing the recon bolt forces him back off that owl drum, but Trulls in close gets two. Victor wants this trade frag. Is he gonna get it eventually? No, it's Marvin instead. But Pauly, Jay Sung, they pinch this play. They shut it down. Tanner, we don't even get to start the round because Carpe knocked him. They shut down from both sides. Oh, Sid taking a bit of damage and getting smoked off there out towards mid. Is Finesse playing inside? Oh, that refrigerator is gonna fall. Jay Sung's able to find one. It was Victor pushing onto the A site. Two remaining here for Envy on this A site are able to assume in the post plant. Now to come on through. The tag comes through. Mummy forced to back away. Trying to get inside the cloud burst, but still needs to be careful. Jay Sung gonna be sent back in the ult in a horrible spot. Marv will punish Carpe Noctum for their run it back usage as Zid just continues forward. The knives online. It's a 3K. It's an operator only standing for Envy. Carpe Noctum. They battle back for another round. They push to eight, Mimi, but you cannot continue to go one for one. You lose the game like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Ability. So those hot hands are just ripping through your health bar. And I wonder if Greedy was spotted out here is going to take that star back. It does take quite some time to get it back. And unfortunately, it's not enough to get Greedy to safety. Zid finds another kill with the operator. Victor now down. Marv pushing onto the site, able to find one onto Jay Sung and Marv. Kind of been the unsung hero for this squad. Doing just about everything he can with the spike in hand. Is going to head the opposite direction. Zid goes up and what goes up must come down, says Crashies. It's Polly. It's tagged out as well. The spike planted on B. They need to look to make an aggressive play and that's going to do it. Mimi, you said they needed consistency and well, they found it. Now two rounds in a row to Carpe knock them and they cut the deficit to one. Oh, that's so... And I believe Envy opted into a save. Their economy is in a weird spot. Oh my goodness, Zid straight to the face of Victor. Zephanes swings with a frenzy. Troll's gonna go wide on the shot. It's a little shaky on it. Goes back to its own will. Finish what he started. Mummy with the dagger, though. Finding lots of value as Jay Sung able to close out the ulted jet. And only one ult remains. It's a cosmic divide. We'll see if Get Greedy chooses to use it. In a 2v2 situation. Teams, though, they're split across the map. A 1v1 just around the corner is Greedy. Drops down onto the A site. Looks to be first contact onto Marv, who's creeping up towards that tree room. We've got Zid on the long flank here. Still operator in hand. Paranoia goes through. Shots on target. Now Zid has to get it done in a 1v2. Recon bolt for the information out towards heaven. It's going to be the catwalk push here from the jet. They get this done. 69 HP, no tailwind to speak of, so just down to the gunplay. Knows that there's likely a man hell, but has no idea where anyone else could be from this Envy squad. Time taking away Zid. Can he get this done? I mean, they're just, they're not giving up anything. This is played perfectly. You have to be wary of the operator. You have to be wary of the shots. Marv gonna go down. 34 HP, but running out of time. Zid needs to find something else. It's an operator in a 1v1. Peaks the right side. Unaware of the Sova inside the cloud burst needs the no scope. Another 13 to 9 on the table. See what Carpe knocked them from muster once more. Mimi, Mimi, this was scary. Yeah, I was like, my heart was beating there. FNS left. saving the round. Like, we gotta give that one to FNS. Yeah. He has the flank through, cuts off one man, isolates that into a 2v1. They know the Sova has to be droning back. Jen, they were even something on the other end. There's nothing to be found. Turret. You get the information that they're still playing out towards B main. Nano Swarm. The stop with the market momentarily. Mummy to find the first. Cloud burst. And to stop a refrag out from Zid, knowing that that operator is used out towards market. 
With the ultimate coming down, the B site should be opened up, and Marv still playing the long con across the map. Econ Bolt ready here. They're committed to playing in towards the retake. Not the Molly damage. Zid gets a shot, though. Still, Crashy's in close. Blade Storm up. This fight could decide it, but the door saves him for now. Crashy's still tucked in. Crashy's falls. That was a needed, a much needed kill. For Envy to try and close things out as Marv on the flank is going to get spotted what? out. Victor going to take Zid out of the sky. The spike is planted and Marv's bringing up the rear. They have to take this fight to Victor right here, right now, or they're going to have to answer to the flank. It's a very healthy omen. The half HP Phoenix. Now the damage gets traded back and forth. Get greedy. Worse for wear here on the retake. Marv going to finish off what he started. It's all up to Polly here on the side, and that's going to...